why the corporate tax bracket should go back to 20, or back to uh, 52 percent. And it's uh, pretty straightforward. You've got all these giant corporations that are paying basically nothing in corporate income tax. And the reason why is not because they're doing what the corporate income tax is intended to do. I mean, you know, we have income taxes for two reasons. Uh, one, the reason that everybody understands is you got to raise money to pay for, you know, government to provide the services that keep businesses going and, and you know, keep us all alive. But the second reason, and uh, the one that most people don't even understand, but is really important, is you have corporate taxes, corporate income taxes, and you have specific loopholes that let you get out of paying corporate income taxes because you want people to use those loopholes. You want them to do those things. And what are those things? If you pay your employees better, that's tax deductible. That's a loophole. If you develop new products, then the, the research and development associated with new product development or bringing new products to the marketplace, advertising, marketing, hiring, sales, it's all tax deductible. It all reduces your profits. It reduces your taxes. These are things, you know, if you, if you invest in your local community, if you build a new factory, if you develop a new product line, these are all things that we want companies to do. So we give them incentives in the tax code to do these things. They can get a tax deduction. The problem is that uh, since the, uh, the Reagan tax cut, but really the big, the big drilling of holes into the tax code happened in, in 2001 and 2003, during the George W. Bush administration, his two big tax cut bills, and then in 2017 with the Donald Trump tax cut. And when you look at corporate profits, you see this just lurch to the top, this massive explosion in corporate profits immediately after the George W. Bush and the Donald Trump tax cuts for billionaires and big corporations. And what this means is that these corporations no longer, because they've got all these you know, ways to, to get out of paying taxes, that are not doing things that we want them to do. Uh, they're, they're doing things we don't want them to do. They're engaging in stock buybacks. For example, the tech industry bought back almost a trillion dollars worth of its own stock in 2020 and uh, over a trillion dollars in 2021. Buying back stock, I mean, a trillion dollars, investing a trillion dollars in buying your own stock, all that does is manipulate the price of the stock. It doesn't develop new products. It doesn't build new factories. It doesn't pay employees better. It doesn't offer better benefits because they don't have to do those things anymore because Trump and, and Bush gave them and, and Reagan gave them these massive corporate tax cuts. And so we're no longer seeing companies engaging in the kind of behavior that they used to engage in, which was, you know, developing new products because it's tax deductible, bringing new products to the, to the marketplace because it's tax deductible, developing, you know, building new factories and expanding product uh, production because it's tax deductible. Trump dropped the uh, top tax rate the, the, all the way down to a, you know, a flat rate of 21%, or not a flat rate, but down to a maximum rate of 21%, which is just crazy. I mean, it used to be 52% when Eisenhower was president, and 52% did it. I mean, that, that, that caused corporations to invest in their people. Back then, uh, the income and wealth of the bottom half of America was growing faster than the income and wealth of the top half of America. That's a good thing, right? The, the middle class was growing and expanding and, and, and prosperity was spreading across the country, in large part because corporations, in order to avoid paying taxes, were doing the things that we want them to do, and which is why we wrote in those particular tax loopholes. You know, it's the same thing with, with individual taxes. We want people to buy houses. So we give them a tax break on buying a house. You're, they, they, uh, they, when you buy a house, the 100% of the interest that you pay on that house is deductible from your taxes. Unless uh, Reagan changed that. I don't think he has. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, you get this. It's because we want, you know, you, you have children and you get, you know, a new tax deduction every year. Because, we you know, these are behaviors that we want to incentivize. But you can't incentivize behavior with taxes when the tax code is so full of holes that nobody's paying attention to it. So anyhow, it's, it's just, you know, my, my article today was just a, a, a pretty straightforward pitch to say, 
we need to raise the corporate tax rate in order to incentivize corporations to once again do the things that help build America, that make this a better country, a stronger country, that build and, and, and strengthen the middle class, rather than just running share buyback scams, which used to be a crime. You know, Reagan legalized this in 83. But uh, starting in 1935, this was a crime, share buy buybacks. It was called stock price manipulation. Time to, time to change the tax code.